Having a medical emergency, it's always a very scary time. We want to help ease your fears. So today, we take you inside of an ambulance. We are here with a team. They're going to show you what happens if you ever need to call for help. Brittany, a lot of folks will be sitting at home, may not feel so well. How do they know when the right time to call an ambulance is? So obviously there's multiple situations that would lead for you to call for EMS assistance. Mostly that'd be heart attack, stroke, severe car accident, any kind of life or death situation, or any situation that would require you to have immediate medical attention. So Brittany, tell us the benefit of having an ambulance come to the scene as opposed to someone driving themselves to the hospital. Taking an ambulance to the hospital is more than just transportation. It's about care and treatment. Our medical providers are trained extensively in multiple different situations. We can stabilize you en route to the hospital and also provide care and comfort en route to the hospital. What are some warning signs that we need to look out for? Warning signs would be any sudden chest pain, stroke-like symptoms, any change in mental status, any elderly person that's just not acting like their normal self, um, an allergic reaction, or any kind of major traumatic event. The unknown can be scary for people sometimes. They don't know what happens inside of an ambulance. What do you say to those folks? The unknown can be very scary and unsettling, and we're here to assure you that it can be a more enjoyable experience, and it's all about providing you comfort and care. So in critical situations, every minute counts. And when you call an ambulance and we transport you there, we're shaving off minutes that would other times be detrimental. So we're gonna communicate with your care team. We're gonna get you a quicker diagnosis, quicker treatment, and activate the operation room if needed. We are the eyes and ears for the physicians on the front line and we report back to them all of our findings. What's important to note, Brittany, is the faster you get to the patient, the faster you can get the information to the hospital and the faster the patients care. Yes, national response time average is 15 minutes and we're under that at approximately 10 minutes. Thank goodness I've never had to be in an ambulance, but if we have to be in an ambulance, can you show us what happens inside? We're gonna to demonstrate to you a classic scenario of someone just having chest pain, and we're gonna walk through the different uh, assessments that we're gonna do and treatment that we can provide en route. So here in this situation, if you possibly had some chest pain or cardiac event, we would hook you up to our cardiac monitor and perform an EKG. We can transmit that EKG to the emergency room as well as your cardiologist to lead to a diagnosis prior to your arrival. So this is the EKG hookup? Yes. So it's just a couple stickers, very non-invasive, nothing hurts about it, very comfortable. We hook it up to our machine and we can assess all areas of your heart. We're also going to assess for your vitals. We're going to check your blood pressure, assess your lung sounds, blood sugar, oxygen saturation, things like that that you would normally get upon arrival to the emergency room. We're going to do before we get there. Here you're knocking out a lot of the initial steps. Yes. So you're Emergency room care actually begins in the ambulance. We're gonna assess you and help the doctors get to a diagnosis, possibly prior to your arrival. A lot of people are afraid of what's inside of an ambulance. This is a very comfortable situation. It looks like a mini OR. Absolutely, and it's actually very similar to the inside of a doctor's office. You know, we have a bed that we could put you on to get you comfortable, very similar equipment. It's a very light environment. Let's talk about life-saving measures that can happen right here in the ambulance. We are trained in various medical emergencies, and we have equipment and medication very similar to the emergency room that can provide you with that care. We do carry Narcan for overdoses. We also carry various medications for cardiac arrhythmias, seizures, pain medication for traumatic events, um, and other various drugs to meet medical emergencies. If someone were to go out to eat and have an allergic reaction and had forgotten their EpiPen at home, we could treat an allergic reaction with epinephrine and other various medications. So Brittany, if someone is very, very sick, what are some of the life-saving tools that are here inside the ambulance? Unfortunately, some of those critical events can lead to cardiac arrest. We have the capability to treat cardiac arrest while taking you to the hospital. We have a machine that can perform CPR for us very efficiently. We can intubate you. We can give you the same exact medications that the emergency room would give to you, as well as talking to the ER team prior to your arrival. We're going to have a large team waiting for you upon arrival. We're also going to activate the operating room if necessary. So Brittany, are patients going to be okay? He's going to make it. Okay.
Good job. Remember, everybody, that every time you call an ambulance, the folks here are well-trained medical professionals, and they know everything there is to know about this mini hospital on wheels. I'm Camille Whitworth. Thanks for watching.